So, three warnings about Facebook. One, Facebook is not free. There is this um, myth that because um, there are not the same hard costs with Facebook that it's free or social media is free. And the thing is, um, it's not nearly as expensive as television and radio and outdoor and print and more traditional, what I call linear marketing. It's not as expensive as those, those uh, types of marketing and communication, but it is not by any means free. And the reason it's not free is it takes a lot, a lot of time. And time, of course, is a cost in and of itself. Time that you spend, time that your agency spends, time that your interns spend, time that your staff spend, um, time that consultants spend. No matter how you, you organize your Facebook activity, it's going to take a lot of time and therefore it's not free. And then, by the way, there are also lots of ways to spend actual money, um, like Facebook ads and uh, Facebook applications and other ways to spend money. So, 15 ways to succeed on Facebook. These are 15 of the 18 um, strategies highlighted from the book. 15 is a lot in one hour, so let's rock and roll. Number one, listen first and never stop listening. The story I tell in the beginning of my book is the story I like to tell to show the power of social media to senior executives that don't yet understand uh, social media. And uh, it took place about uh, a year and a half ago, and I was uh, staying at the Aria Hotel in Vegas, the hottest hotel on the strip at the time, and flew in from New York, took a six-hour flight, was exhausted, was angry, was frustrated, ended up waiting online for over 45 minutes to check in at the Aria. Well, obviously that's not cool. So I did what any social media nerd would do. I tweeted. Think and act like your customer. I'm going to show you something here, sort of complicated. Don't don't freak out. I don't fully understand the, the, the this crazy formula, but I do understand what it means. So this is the edge rank formula on Facebook, and in my humble opinion, it's the single most important innovation of our time. Whoa, wow, that's bold. So let me explain it. What this determines is what shows up in your newsfeed at any given moment. So before we go over that, let's discuss. Number three is to tell your customers to be your first fan. All the time I get people coming to me and say, Dave, how do we get more likes? Dave, how do we get people to like us? Well, if people don't know you, they're not gonna like you. They're gonna be much less likely to like you. Who's gonna like you first? Your own customers, your vendors, your partners, the stakeholders that already know you are going to be the ones to like you first. So those are the right people to be your first like on Facebook. 